Introduction to Cost Terms and Purposes series. And in this part three, we're going to be looking at the gross profit income statement. So here is a very simple gross profit income statement. And like all income statements, we start with sales revenue. Now something different, something new in this income statement or the gross profit income statement that we haven't seen before is cost of goods sold. Now we now know where that comes from when we sell a product made up of materials, labor, and overhead which are not expensed until the product is sold and when the product is sold those costs are called cost of goods sold. We subtract cost of goods sold from sales revenue to derive what is called gross profit. Gross profit is then used to cover any operating expenses and income that we hope to have left. So from our gross profit, we're going to subtract our operating expenses. Remember the operating expenses are those period costs we talked about, the selling and administrative costs. So once we subtract out our operating expenses from gross profit, we're left with our operating income. Now to operating income, you may have some other things that don't really fit anywhere, like other revenue and other expenses. An example of other revenue would be if you loaned out money to someone and you're charging them interest. That would be an other revenue unless you're a bank. Because if you're loaning someone money and that's not your day-to-day -day operations, your day-to-day -day business, then that's not sales revenue. That would be an other revenue. You also could have other expenses, like if you borrowed money from a bank and you're paying interest expense. That would be considered an other expense. Once you subtract other expenses and add your other revenues, you get your net income before tax. Then from that, you're going to calculate your income tax expense. You subtract your income tax expense from your net income before tax to end up with your final number of net income, your net income after tax.